This is the story of Christina Treadway, a mother of two who fatally stabbed her children before jumping off an interstate during rush hour, killing herself. Just yesterday, they were playing on those scooters and bikes. Savannah Doyle says the Millers were always playing with her younger sisters. They used to play on the back of my trampoline. Just the morning before, they were outside playing, laughing, looked like they were maybe chasing each other, like having fun, just like normal kids. Police say 34-year-old Christina Treadway assaulted her two children and then killed herself by jumping off the bridge over I-485. Christina's mother, Patricia Treadway, spoke about her daughter pointing out that Christina never showed any signs of being depressed and that she loved her children. Some family members even went as far as wondering if Christina's estranged ex may have played a role in this. She's never had a mental problem. We never had a problem with Christina in any shape or form. The father of Christina's children was located by Charlotte Police and was found to have not played a role in the tragedy. There were no records of domestic violence at the home, although family members described Christina as being in an abusive relationship. I will say she snapped. Normal people don't do that. Did you ever think that your daughter could do something like that? No. Never. Not in a million years. Al and Patricia Treadway are Christina's parents. The 34-year-old woman police say killed her two children, 7-year-old Isaiah and 3-year-old Aaliyah, before jumping off a bridge on I-485 last weekend. She's never had a mental problem. We never had a problem with Christina in any shape or form with mental or depression. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, they told me Christina left her family a suicide note on Facebook with instructions to delete it after reading what she had to say. To forgive her and just pretend like she was still 3,000 miles away happy. Part of the message that she left for us said that she couldn't leave her children without a mother and that no one else would ever raise her kids. Investigators are still trying to figure out what led to Christina's death and the death of her two children. Her parents are willing to wait as long as it takes to get those answers. I would rather have them investigate and investigate and investigate and find out exactly what happened. If she was hurting that bad, I wish she, she would have called me that day. As you can see, uh, neighbors have set up a small memorial here in front of their home. And I spoke to the family. They told me that they are planning a service in California for Christina and her two children. Reporting live in Northwest Charlotte, Stephanie Tinoco, Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10. Channel 9 has followed every development in this tragic story. You can find our